Let's let's try something else out. And I know this is not a killer feature, but I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna do something. So, oh, you're gonna write some right? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna multimodal, draw. multimodal development. Chat. What is multimodal development? Multimodal development is that you can give it pictures, images, screenshots, whatever, something that's not text, and it's able to do stuff based off of that. So if I draw a little box here, I'm, give me a second. I'm drawing boxes on paper. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one box. That's another box. That's another box. I'm going to say API gateway. Oh, I'm going to say that. La Trust me. <laughs> I, have, I have horrible handwriting, chap. Uh, Lambda, and let's do DDB, right? And let's do, I don't know, um, S3. And let's do SNS. Wow. Okay. So API gateway here, here, here. Okay. Yep. One's do that. All those things. There's a little user here that goes here, and I will just say upload. Okay. And I'm going to say image watermark. Oh, okay. Yeah. So there's a little new, this is a new website you're making. It's a new website. Or API, rather. We've designed the website, friends. Um, new API. It's a new, it's horrible. I'll show you it on screenshot. <laughs> it's horrible. So I'm going to take my phone. Uh -huh. I'm going to take a picture of this whole thing here. Like that. Mm. Like that. Boom. Okay. I'm sending myself this picture right now, and I'm going to dump it into Kiro. I'm going to go ahead and attach an image. image. There you go. Downloads. I don't know where I put that image. There it is. Okay. I'm sure this is right there. Chat. Didn't even have to rotate it. Feast your eyes on this. Um, <laughs> I know. I absolutely know. It's um, beautiful. You all know what this is. I, I don't, first of all, I don't know how to hold a pen. Ignore me. Yeah. Um, upload API gateway, all of these things, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to say, please um, write me uh, infrastructure as infrastructure code in Terraform for this application. Uh, ignore the Lambda code for now. I just want it's nice on the scaffolding. Keep it focused on Keep it focused on that, one, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what Tiro says. Probably didn't even have to say Terraform. I have no idea. Even because of your steering. Well, right. there's no steering though. Oh, you you loaded a fresh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Looking at Dark I can see serverless applications with API gateway Lambda, what appears to be three data sources, S3, RDS. I didn't understand your Oh, wait. actually, it didn't read. It's RDS. There's no RDS. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's kind of. I mean, I'm looking at this and it looks like RDS. I know. I know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cancel. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not RDS. Uh, uh, it's. SNS, I think it's SNS, yeah. yeah. It looks like a, it looks SNS. I can see where it, there you I go. also, have, I, I've, I have very bad handwriting. This is a, so. I've intentionally done this. I yeah. write really beautiful. Oh, Red, oh. Uh, <laughs> no, it's just bad. Uh, but uh, yeah, so, um, and it they didn't understand, it didn't even comment on my like uh, image watermark thing here. So mm -hmm. I think it understood what it wants me to do, but we will see. Okay, let me open SNS instead of that. That's great. There you go. Right. But it will... Oh, it's just going for it. Yeah, it's just going for it. Like, look at the main TF is here. Variables are here. Mm -hmm. All of these things are just, just going. Like, it's just, just booking. Uh, it's, it started to do some RDS hearing, but it's going to skip that. Hmm. Uh, oh, yeah, right. But yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's a neat way to do it, especially if you're like, kind of like, okay, here's what I want to do. I have this whole thing. Please. Mm -hmm. Here's my application. You know what? Create me spec. spec. Yeah. So spec, it's spec off, right? It's a really nice way to do multimodal. Yeah, there's a there's another way uh, okay. that to do that I, another use for multimodal that I that I like to do. Um, I could show it right now yeah, too, if you, unless you want to see the end of it. Uh, I'm going to show you at the end as, okay. as, it, as it, it it will chug along through this. So I'm going to switch to this thing here. So what I like like to do is if I want to have it move around a UI element, okay. and this is what we were saying with some MCP tools do automate this a bit for you. But what I do since I don't have that, I don't know for now. I just kind of take a screenshot. Right. I'll copy uh, copy the image. I'll go back over to Kiro and say, um, actually, let's start a new session just for fun, I guess, whatever, it doesn't matter. And I'll say, uh, can you move the, um, I don't know, what I want to do, the home, the navigation yeah. to be left aligned. Okay. Uh, I don't know, that might confuse it. What do I mean by that? Uh, yeah, left aligned. Okay. And uh, you know, just paste it. Yeah. Because it sees what this is what I'm talking about. Like I guess I probably could be less specific. I could just said move the move the home, and it's gonna just it's looking around. It'll, since it 
it, it's a little easier for it because it has that structure steering dock that it had generated up front. It's generated that steering, that structure MD, remember? Okay. So, so I just deploy it again. Yeah. Oh, is it, is it another bug? No, it's not another bug. Okay. Okay, great. Okay. So it's deploying. Um, sorry, it's making changes. Back and forth. Mm -hmm. No. Oh, is it making changes? No. Oh. No, it's no, it was done. It said, okay, I moved it over to the left and it described it. I mean, it's, it's, it's nice and it does. I like this. This is to me is just the right amount of verbosity. Yeah. It tells me what it's up to. I, yeah. I'm, I didn't read this, like say my thinking out loud for this part, but I, I was looking, okay, yep, it's moving heavier than the left. Yep. Restructure the header. That is about what I wanted. Okay, great. So now I guess I can go and just do a refresh and we'll see where I moved it. Yeah, boom. Boom. There so the multimodal, I just take a, like, instead of having to describe every little nuance of what I wanted to do or find the code and say, in this file, do the thing. No. Just take a screenshot, say the thing that you want to have it do, and it'll just move things around, resize. You can, I've seen it. Um, I think uh, somebody on the Kiro team showed me that I could just kind of take a screenshot of some other yeah. like a website with a style that I like, exactly. and it'll it say restyle my site to look like this. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. They're kind of multimodal aspects, things that you can do with multimodal. Take a screenshot, print on a piece of paper, <laughs> make some notes on it, sure. send it over. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, sure. um, but also like. I, feel, I find this like I, I worked in the past with a lot of like web designers mm. and they give you like they would give you like Photoshop mockups. Oh, sure. right. Take those. Take those, right? Yeah. We take those. Like you work with a designer, they give you a mock up or a website. Here's what I want it to look like. You can modify the colors, change stuff, and it's able to kind of deduce these things from this. So amazing. Shenanigans. Love it. Like even for yourself, if you want to mock a website, open up your favorite tool, Figma, Canva, Photoshop, sure. Photo P, whatever, and you make you sure. make it look like you want it to look, you tell it this but we tell in css oh sure and that's it yeah. so i big fan of that big fan of that okay have we missed a couple of features of this i'm, I'm looking at kiro like is there something we missed we talked about steering docs we talked about agent hook we thought about specs we talked about mcp servers mm -hmm. uh we never talked about model support um so okay. currently currently if you uh, go ahead the you two models yeah you can oh, your, yeah that's mine so, so let me go back to my thing uh uh oh this is still uh, actually it's finished actually so okay let me, uh, screen share. I have to do this whole dance every time. Every time. Every time. Nope, not that one. Wait, there's gear. Threw off your, threw off your train okay. look out there. Okay, okay yeah. Okay. So, um, it finished. Let me see what it has done here. So, uh, there's main TF. I see API gateway, API gateways, Lambda functions. It cho chose Python for some reason. Mm. Um, ah, need more because you didn't have any steering. Yeah, steering exactly. yeah, but this is the power of steering. Is also and spec. Because you're reviving this. This is exactly why specs. Exactly. I don't know if that was on purpose or not. Uh, it wasn't. But, but there that's it. it. That's, that's why. That's because you're like, oh, it came back and it did this stuff that oh, I didn't actually want that. Specs get that concentration up front before you tab away and work on something else, and it goes down a long journey. And you're like, oh, actually go undo everything you did. Exactly. Right? This is exactly why I like the spec flow. Exactly. It's, exactly. it's beautiful. My next hearing doc is going to be write all of my functions in objectively the best programming language. <laughs>